Welcome to the Leeds VTR North office and the Steldis room. In here we've got the Smart Model 870i, 70 inch display from Smart which we're going to use for today's presentation. Across here we've got the new Smart Model 800 series. This board has multi-touch and right around the other side of the room we've got a BenQ interactive display. This office is available for people to come in to use the technology to try it for themselves and to work out what works best for them. We run training here and we offer it as an open service for people that want to come in and see our technologies. Today's session is going to work in three parts. I'll move on to the next slide. We have an overview from myself on the learning spaces and Stelgis products and how those can be used to enhance your learning experience. We've got a session from Gary Trotter from Elmo Europe on visualizers and student response systems. And we've got a classroom perspective from Vanessa Matthews from Leeds Metropolitan University, who's one of our smart exemplary educators. I'm going to leave them to introduce themselves and move on with the first session. Over the last six to eight months, we've developed a range of learning spaces brochures. The concept behind these is to look at, instead of people having to look at standalone products and work out how they might work for their learning environment, We've taken those and looked at how they work in each space. So today I'm going to focus on further education. In the next few months we have a higher education one coming as well. It works as an online magazine. We can send out hard copies of these or we can use the online version. Okay. Look at each one. It works in the same way. that We look at the core technology for a space right through from the basic interactive projector, right up to our 800 series board, multi-touch, and then into interactive displays, depending what you're trying to achieve. We then look at what options you might extend around that, things like visualizers, voting systems, mobile stands, height adjustable trolleys, brackets and mounts, or additional classroom requirements. And then finally, we look at what services work around that from leasing, installation, extended warranty, and perhaps most importantly of all, the training that's needed to make sure that you get a good return on investment and get real use of that technology that you've invested in. We go through everything from teaching rooms, again you can see the same principle, core technology, extended options and complete with services. So here we've got the teaching rooms, you can see we go out into practical areas and the technology differs on what might be appropriate for those spaces. We look at theatre and studios, some of our high-end, high-performance um, projectors, and then into things like the ICT suites. I'm just going to flip through quickly so you can see what other spaces we have available in here. Sports centre, learning resource centre, staff rooms, communal areas, flexible spaces, and immersive spaces. We're seeing an increasing number of universities that are looking for immersive spaces and we have some really good technology that fits there but we also have some expertise and people that can come out and provide help, advice and support. At the back of this brochure it goes into details as well about our training packages and the warranties available. In addition to that we found that there's a lot of places now that are looking for additional support on how they use hall spaces or large atrium spaces and also specialist AV. Things like having a single control panel that will work all the technology in one room so you can have it set up for your requirements when you come in to use it rather than having to go out and change everything in the room to your own specification. Again, if these are of interest to you, we can get people out to talk to you rather than you having to work through it yourself. On a more practical note, you can see here that I'm using Smart Notebook 11. One of the key things I would suggest with this is that you make sure that you're up to date. You'll notice that the toolbar may well have changed from the version that you're using. It's designed to look very much like a Windows 7 format. It's also been made more intuitive, so if I pick the pens, I'll get the range of pens and choices available to me. Rather than it all being there at the same time, I've got some lovely interactive features, things like my ruler now, is much more intuitive. So if I pick up a pen and draw along the line, it will stay on the line. I 
can rotate it. See the angle of rotation as I move through. Great functionality. I can use that directly over the internet or I can use it within the software. You may also